There's always liquidity above an O high and below an O low. The market's always constantly going up and down for two reasons, only two reasons. It's going up to an inefficiency up here. This down close candle, what, ha what happens inside this down close candle? A short term high forms here. So there's buy side listed right above that. Does it run into that? It's real close to it, but doesn't take it out, does it? Mm -mm. This upper portion of this down close candle, that is the premium range of this inefficiency. If I'm looking at a fair value gap, if I'm looking for a fair value gap that's part of a balanced price range, as I've been outlining here, I don't really want to see it trade to the upper portions of it. I want to see it remain open. This shouldn't fill in. This upper portion, I want to see that stay open. So the market does in fact trade up to the 15 minute time frame bearish order block mean threshold, which is that red level here, and trades into the lower portion of this five minute premium fair value gap. So we're blending a lot of different things here that builds a narrative. It's not just me looking for one fair value gap or one order block. It's a lot of things coming together, coalescing. And then when does it really run? At time, at time of day that the algorithm will start spooling. Spooling is when the price does this type of thing here. It starts running in one direction.